historian John Barrymore, Profile of an Era. In the latter part of the 19th century, a famous actress named Louisa Drew gave birth to Georgiana Drew, who took her mother's place as a famous actress on the stage. At the turn of the century, Georgiana made theatrical history when she married Maurice Barrymore, member of an equally famous theatrical family. Three acting offsprings, Ethel, Lionel, and John, made the Barrymores the royal family of the theater. But it was the colorful John who earned the lion's share of publicity to place him a shade higher in the public's eyes than his equally talented brother and sister. John, with his flair for Shakespeare, achieved his greatest moment on Broadway as Hamlet, the Black Prince of Denmark. The attempts to duplicate his Shakespearean feats met with moderate success. Plans were altered, and John immortalized himself in his very next role as the French poet Villon in The Beloved Road. Co-stars Max Sim and Slim Somerville rounded out this trio of screen immortals. The public copies a handsome Barrymore's empty, and standing room only signs met the latecomer to Don Juan. Barrymore's success was aided and abetted by a very distinguished film cast, which included Myrna Loy, Warner Owen, Estelle Taylor, co-star Mary Astor, and Montague Love. The advent of sound on film was a blessing to Barrymore fans. His first speaking role as General Crack was a masterpiece of eloquent speech and diction. A change of pace in the great profile's busy schedule held another treat for the audience. His Spengali was the finest character portrayal of the year. Motion picture history was in the making as the prince of the royal family greeted his princess sister, who arrived from New York to star with both John and Lionel in MGM's Rasputin and the Empress. This was the first and the last time the trio would star together. Grand Hotel and Reunion in Vienna preceded the 20th century for Columbia. Barrymore and the talented Carol Lombard turned in the year's best comedy performance as the career-minded actress and he the actress-minded producer. But the pitfalls of leisure, fame, and fortune were to catch up with his great talent. Sid Grauman pressed the profile in the cement of his noted theater before Barrymore the actor became Barrymore the playboy. Following Romeo and Juliet with Leslie Howard and Basil Rathbone, arguments with studio officials and a laxity towards the business at hand sent the star exploring the four corners of the earth. With his crew of ten and the makings of good times aboard, his yacht, the Mariner, set sail for parts unknown as the great profile began a slide that ended in bankruptcy. Though his final curtain was shrouded with humility, it shall never overshadow the greatness of the immortal John Barrymore, whose good night, sweet prince, will find no equal in our time.